Hi guys, so I just finished reading the first story from the Stephen King's new book, If It Bleeds, and I just couldn't stop myself from sharing my thoughts about it with you. Now, uh, I find it important to mention that I read the story on Kindle on my phone, and I'm fighting very hard to get over my obsession of getting hardcover books and reading them only when I get them and not reading them digitally. So I'm adapting and that's an achievement for me. I feel tempted to hold this up like this for the rest of the video, but I'm not going to do something as stupid as that. Uh, all right. So uh, if it bleeds, the first story, which is called Mr. Harrigan's phone, uh, I found it so amazing and so thrilling that it's almost hard for me to express uh, for the for the people who are Stephen King fans and who've been reading his uh, recent books uh, in the past. Uh, for them, one single line, it is typical Stephen King at his best. The story builds slowly and then, it's, and then it creeps on you and then it crawls on you and then it really gets into your mind and then it ends. Uh, there are so many things in this uh, story which uh, I enjoyed. It, it, it really makes you think. And it, it kind of corners you from all the sides and then, then it forces you to feel what it wants you to feel because uh, there's, there's an incident which happens which is related to a phone which we can easily understand from the title of the story itself. So, uh, so, so something supernatural starts to happen and it's explained technically as well. So it, it, it gives a technical explanation also. But then the question remains still and, and you're so strongly forced to think and, and think otherwise that it's really interesting. Another thing which I found very interesting about the story was that how someone who you spend a lot of time with ends up becoming a part of your mind and a part of your mind forever. Like there was this one particular character in which uh, who, who spends a lot of time with another character and then uh, whenever in trouble he would just sit down and think what would he do or what would he tell me if I told him that I was in trouble and, and that that is one thing which was very beautifully done in the book. This story I will recommend strongly because I don't think that it's a kind of story which anyone might not enjoy or I don't know I'm just overwhelmed after reading this book reading this story that I think like this but you know it starts like a very normal story and uh, up till quite some length uh, nothing extraordinary or nothing uh, supernatural happens and and you start to question is this really Stephen King and why did they label this book as horror because I don't see any horror in this but but then it, it you, you get what what you signed up for after a while uh, uh, but what i was trying to say was that the story goes on so gradually and after quite a while something happens and then it suddenly changes everything and, and, and that, that is typical stephen king i'm still to read the other three stories and i, I if i like them i'm gonna make more videos and i'm gonna put them on but uh, this is one story which i have read and i have really enjoyed and i highly recommend it so uh, so pick it up and go through it and, and see for yourself how you like it. The best part is that in the Kindle sample, the complete first story is there already. So, so you don't even have to buy the book. You can just download the Kindle sample and you can read the story. And if you like the story, you can go ahead and buy the rest of the book and then you can read the other stories as well. I hope you'll enjoy reading this wonderful story as much as I did. And if you want me to review any book and if you want me to talk about any, any other story or any other book, feel free to leave a comment. I'll definitely take a look and pick it up if I can. Thank you.